Jolene invests her savings in two bank accounts, one paying 3% and the other paying 8% simple interest per year. She puts twice as much in the lower yielding account because it is less risky. Her annual interest is $526. How much did she invest at each rate? So it is possible to solve this problem using one equation, but we're going to solve it using a system of equations and then we'll solve the system. So there are two unknowns here. We don't know how much money is invested at 3% or how much is invested at 8%. So let's let x equal the amount of money invested at 3% and we'll let y equal the amount of money invested at 8%. The first equation is going to come from the fact that she puts twice as much money in the lower yielding account because it is less risky. So there's twice as much money at 3% that there is at 8%. So to write an equation to represent this relationship, we would have x is equal to 2 times y. So again, there's twice as much money here at 3%. So if we want them to be equal, we'd have to multiply the amount of money at 8%, which is y, by 2. If we wrote y equals 2x, that would be the incorrect relationship because x is twice y. Next, we're given that the total interest for the year is $526. And since she's earning 3% on x dollars and 8% on y dollars, we would have 0.03x plus 0.08y must equal 526. Notice how we convert the percentages to decimals and then multiply by the amount of money in that account. And now to solve this system, we can use the substitution method or elimination method. And since this first equation is already solved for x, we're going to use the substitution method. Since x is equal to 2y, we can substitute or replace x in the second equation with 2y. This will give us an equation with one variable, which we can then solve for y. We would have 0 0.03 times 2y plus 0 0.08y equals 526. This product here is going to be 0.06y plus 0.08y equals 526. Now if we wanted to, we could clear these decimals by multiplying both sides of the equation by 100, which is equivalent to moving the decimal point to the right two places. But since we're going to use the calculator, we'll go ahead and leave it as a decimal. This sum here would be 0.14y equals 526. Now we'll divide both sides by 0.14. This quotient will give us the amount of money invested at 8%. So 526 divided by 0 0.14. We're going to go ahead and round this to the nearest cent. So this is going to be approximately $3,757.14. Now we still have to find the amount of money invested at 3%, but since we know x is equal to 2y, we can just replace y with this amount here. So x is going to be equal to 2 times $3,757.14. Again, this is approximation because this is the rounded value. So this is going to give us $7,514 and 28 cents. So to answer the question, Jolene invested $3,757.14 at 8% simple interest and she invested $7,514.28 at 3% simple interest. Now just to verify the solution, we could graph both equations on the same coordinate plane and the point of intersection will represent our solution. So let's go ahead and take a look at the graph of these two equations. Well, Here's our point of intersection. 
notice that the x coordinate, or the amount of money invested at three percent, looks like it is approximately seven thousand five hundred fourteen point two eight. And the y coordinate looks like it is approximately three thousand seven hundred fifty seven dollars and fourteen cents. It is hard to be exact on this graph, but it's good enough to verify that our solution is correct. Again, this is the amount of money at three percent simple interest, and this is the amount of money at eight percent simple interest. Okay, so while these types of problems are kind of silly, you'd think she could just look at her bank statement to see how much she invested, but these types of problems often do come up when looking at applications of systems of equations.